Good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. It's the 20th of June and we're on our way to Salou today for a weekend, which should be fun. Oh, that took forever, that train. But we're in Tarragona now. We're gonna get some food, fuel up, and then one more bus to sell. We've just stopped off at some place to get some food. We're in Tarragona now. But who just thought it'd take so long to get to Salou? We've had to, we left at nine o'clock. We've had to get a train to some town and then get off at this town and then swap over for a Tarragona train um, and now we're in Tarragona but it took ages who'd have thought it'd be so far away um, but we're just getting some food now just to refuel and then we got one more bus to get to Salou we're in Tarragona how long did that take just to get here? <laughs> too much at least this much. one knows what trains to get because I'd still be in Barcelona by now. <laughs> We've just ate at that kebab shop. That was nice food. <clears throat> I liked that food. Um, and now we're just walking down Rambla, like Rambla Tarragona, I don't know. We're going for the bus now. Did you like that food? Yeah, yeah. yeah I like it. I really did. <laughs> Nice. So now we're going for the bus and Tarragona is a really pretty area. Like, I didn't even realise how nice it was. Like, look at this. Look at that building. Isn't that a nice building? And that nice little fountain. It's so pretty. Just arrived at our apartment from Airbnb. I can't tell you what it's called, but we've just arrived now after spending half the day in Tarragona. I tell you, it takes a while, so buddy, get it. But we're here. We're finally here in the apartment and this apartment is so nice. Like this, I think it cost us about 47 euros for the night. And I think that was just with a discount too because of this whole Corona. But this place is so good. And like a few years ago, like, I don't know, six or seven years ago, me and my sister came here to salute for a holiday, like, I think it was like six, seven years ago, but we came here for a holiday, me and my sister. And we stayed in this hotel called International Two. And that hotel is literally like, just up the road from this apartment. So it's just giving me nostalgia feelings, just being back here. And can you see my sweaty upper lip a lot? <laughs> Cause it is boiling. I think it's like 24 degrees. But I'll give you an apartment tour later because we've just got some guests at the minute. So later or maybe tomorrow, I'll give you an apartment tour. But this place is so nice and I'm so happy to be back in Salo. This is a really nice place. Tell him, <laughs> tell them. I've already told them. This place is so nice. 
I can't believe we found it. But what do you think of the deco? Yeah, it's so amazing. You can show them. I'm gonna give you an apartment tour later. Tastes like strawberries on a summer evening. And it sounds just like a song. I want no berries and that summer feeling. It's so wonderful and warm. Breathe me in, breathe me out. I don't know if I could ever go without. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know if I could ever go without. Wanna make sugar high, wanna make sugar high, wanna make sugar high, wanna make sugar, sugar high. What a new sugar strawberries on a summer evening. Baby, you're the dream. I want your belly and the summer feeling. Getting washed. Oh, wow. you. Look at this. This is Imad's friends. Say hi. <laughs> Look at this view. Wow. What a new sugar high, 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 what a new sugar high. Like strawberries on a summer evening, and it sounds just like a song. I want your belly and that summer feeling. I don't know if I could ever go without it. What a new sugar high! What a new sugar high! What a new sugar high! There's a reason that I love Salo. Salo? Salo? It's so pretty here. Look, this is the wooden walkway. This is where we got stuck on the boat. <laughs> I think it was here. This is where me and Eden got stuck on the pedalo. See you. So this area is where me and Eden went on the pedalos. And then Eden got us stuck on the rocks. And this is where we got stuck. Right here. Because she lost control of the pedalo. Salou. Just look how pretty it is. I love it here. I would move here, to be honest. Because this place is so... I mean, look how clear the water is. I mean, look at that. You 
can see it right under the water. This place gives me um, nostalgia because this is where me and Eden came for our holiday like six, seven years ago. And just being back here, it just reminds me of it. Do you remember Eden? I'm gonna try and basically just retrace my steps of when me and Eden came. <laughs> but it's so nice here. But if you're thinking of a place to stay in, in Spain, I'd stay here. Or Barcelona. But he lives Salou so far. Someone wants to come for a vacation and needs to come to Salou. Or Barcelona. To Salau. I've just Salau, said yeah, that. I've just said that. Salau. Either Salau or Barcelona. Yeah. So this is your place. <laughs> so this is always me and Eden's place. The water in Salou is a lot nicer and warmer than the Barcelona water. I tell you, that is cold. This water is nice and warm and lovely. Look. We're just chilling right now in the shade because it's too hot to sit in the sun because you know my skin I sizzle <laughs> um, <coughs> I think we're just chilling with this view and then I think we're gonna go back to the apartment get showered and then go out for some food and then maybe go to the disco tonight <laughs> Disco, disco, disco. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the plan. And then I'll show you the apartment tour when we get We've just come out for some 
food, me and Imad. And surprise, surprise, I have a sangria. <laughs> what are you on? Hmm? What are you on? <laughs> red, just the red. Just the red. Just the red. So, have you enjoyed the day yeah. with Imad's friends from back home? What was it called? Who's that? No, what's your friend called? Ah, Ahmed. 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 <laughs> and he's from Morocco, as I was saying. <laughs> Is is Imad's friend Ahmed and his friend Amir? Well, his cousin Amir. They uh, they was with us most of the day. Um, on the beach, they picked us up. They drove us around, and it was nice. His friends was really nice, weren't they? Yeah, of course they were. <laughs> Ahmed they is my Ahmed is is Imad's like old friend, like childhood friend. Like his bestie from Ujda. Mm. But we've just come out for some food because I mean I'm not too hungry but we figured we might as well come out because it's a Saturday night and we gotta have some sangria while you're here. Like look at my little jug. <laughs> He's so small look. Do me, do me for the night at least. Um, and I don't know where we are. We're just at some restaurant. And I've ordered some. What was it? Tagliatelle. Huh? Some tagliatelle with salmon. So this should be nice. <laughs> Get off. So I'll show you when. Mm. Fettuccine and salmon and a chicken burger bon appetit morning so it's the day after and <clears throat> i didn't get a chance yesterday to do the apartment tour so i'm gonna do it now for you so one minute <laughs> okay so this is the door the main door and there's like some weird mirror i don't even notice so this is the apartment and I love this apartment because it's got like a, a beach feel to it and I love beach deco. So, this is the kitchen. And it's all pretty modern too. Like it's a proper modern apartment. But I just love the deco with it. So, coffee machine. Some nice plants and apple and pears. We didn't use any of this. <laughs> Microwave, little fridge. And we actually got, well, the pizza was left for us. All this stuff we bought. This is like um, an island with all these chairs. So you get all these chairs with it. So this is like the eating table, like the island. And over here we have this thing, like a, um, what do you call them? Um, I can't think of the word what you call these, but that's cool. <laughs> and this is the, I mean, these walls. I mean, even just look at the walls. Like, it's so nice. This is the couch, which that couch is really comfy. <laughs> and I love the sheet on it. Like, the sheet is really cool. And this is the TV. And so it's like an L-shaped couch. It's nice, really comfy. A table, and I love this thing. Look at this. <laughs> a beachy lighthouse, and you got this little beachy yacht at the top, and this thing, this, and all these glasses in here, and then you got some little shells at the bottom. Nice. And this is what it looks like from this angle. And the table and the couch. And then we've got a balcony too. So this is the balcony. Um, pretty big balcony, it's huge. 
and we got a big table and chairs outside. This is where most of us sat yesterday when we first got here. And this is the view from the balcony. Like just a forest, really. We ain't got much in hotels. But this balcony is pretty big. It's a decent sized balcony. That's the bedroom. So, let's go back in and show you the bedroom. And I love these things here. Like these are really cool. I love all the deco. And my, my, don't mind the bed, it's a bit messy. But this is the bedroom. And this bed was actually really comfy. Like it's pretty hard. But it was really comfy, especially these pillows. I swear, I just dropped off like a light. It's so nice. And then I'll show you the bathroom. And this is the bathroom. A big mirror. Um, what do you call it? Sink. Uh, a little bath mat. A washing machine. They provide you with towels. And this shower. This shower is nice. I like this shower. This is the bed all made up. <laughs> Overall review on this place. I really liked it. It's a really nice apartment. I'd definitely stay here again. Would you stay here again? Indeed. Um, because the, this place come up when we were looking for somewhere, an Airbnb, and it, it come up as a super host. So I thought, oh, that looks nice. And we paid 47 euros just for the night, which I think that was on discount though, because of the whole night uh, virus. But, I mean, the whole process of getting the keys, because they give it you at four, checkouts at 12, and they give you the keys at four, but we was a bit late picking the keys up, so we had to go to this restaurant to collect them. But as soon as we got them, I mean, this the guy, the host, Ato, I think he's called, the host was really nice, and like, they were really helpful. And we, never, we haven't, we haven't met him but I spoke to him through whatsapp and he helped us and like it was like if you're not here on time then just pick them up from this restaurant so we did um <clears throat> but yeah and it's really clean it's modern it's got a nice beach theme and I love houses with beach themes so this is a win for me I'd definitely stay here again when I come to Salou if it's available <laughs> But yeah, today we've got majority of the day today. I think we're going to go to the beach. We're going to get some breakfast. Well, brunch actually, because it's near enough lunchtime now. And then I think Imad's friends are coming back again. And yeah, let's just see what today holds. My outfit for today and last night, because I've put a freaking rip in my leggings <laughs> so this is my dress my apartment you've been nice so pretty when me and Eden came here for a holiday this is the hotel that we stayed at Eden let me show you look it's our hotel Eden this is where we stayed six years ago Oh, brings back men. 25 degrees and it is hot. Why are you wearing pants? Is it hot for you?
we call Kaplan's Beach. This is me and Eden's Beach. Look. Look how pretty. some reasons why I love Salou, Salau and why you should come to visit one the beaches are like white sandy beaches and they're like really soft sand too the water is quite warm when you get in it's not cold and like the water is clear so you can see under you and the waves I mean the waves are like I mean, they're not big, they're kind of small waves, but at least they don't knock you down. And plus it's cheap. It's just more of like a, a friendly, family, fun type of place. Ouch. Whereas with Barcelona, I mean, I love Barcelona, but the beaches in Barcelona, like the sand is just more like pebbles and it hurts your feet. And like the water is it's blue, but it's not as clear as here. Plus the water's freezing in Barcelona and the waves, <clears throat> the waves are like freaking tsunamis. They just knock you down. And I don't know, this place has just got more of a relaxing holiday type of vibe. Whereas Barcelona is more of like a, a fast paced kind of place. I mean, I love Barcelona. I'm not saying that I don't love it. Like I love it there. But I'd definitely move to Salou or Salau, I never know how to pronounce it. But I'd definitely move here for sure. You right now. I mean, look at that water. It's so clear. Mm -hmm. Stopped off in a restaurant. Look how red I am. Oh. Mm. 